Alright guys, we are taking a Riviera Maya road trip. We're going to Bacalar, Mahawal, uh, and all the fun places in between. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get some food. This is my Hale friend Jackie. Hale. And Puhe. Yeah. Are those two different things? Yeah. Hale? Push. So pull. Yeah. And push this one. Sorry, we got a little distracted. It's six o'clock in the morning, as you can see with the sunshine behind me. We're just waking up, but yeah, we're here at Go Mart. Tons of fun stuff here. So I'm gonna get some gas station uh, uh, coffee along with some food. So let's get started. So check out this amazing section from Go Mart. I got the Croque Monsieur, which was a bad Croque Monsieur, but uh, decent for gas station food. So this is the road to the. Tulum Airport, as you can see, they're building it right now. That's what I was just showing you right there. So let's get it started. So our first stop was here at Hotel Akalki. Uh, this is outside of Bacalar. We just told them at the entrance that we were going to eat breakfast. Uh, so they let us in, and the first thing we saw was this sculpture. It's so beautiful to look at. Um, but then right past it, there was this, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It was like a four-story cabin. Uh, supposedly, it was all made by volunteers, and they didn't have a blueprint. But I have no idea how they could have possibly made this without a blueprint. Everywhere you look, there's just beautiful pieces of art, uh, all handcrafted. Highly recommend checking this place out. Just the open design. As you can see, there's mirrors, there's holes everywhere. Uh, beautiful sculptures. I mean, my brain cannot comprehend how they made this. And here's one more look from the outside. But everywhere as you look, as you can see, there's just beautiful pieces of art. You'll definitely recommend uh, checking this place out and walking around. Um, but up next here is the fire pit. Supposedly the fire pit's been going uh, since they created this location, but I have no way to prove it. And uh, this is the lake view once again. And then this is the dock uh, from where the restaurant was at. And the restaurant was, we just got drinks, so I can't tell if it was good or bad. Our next stop was Los Rapidos, the Bacalar. And here is their deck, as you can see, there's plenty of seating. Uh, this is at the very beginning though, it did fill up later on. But here's some more views of the deck area. Everything just looks pristine, uh, very well taken care of. And then you get a life jacket so you can float down the river. And here's the steps you have to take. It's about a five, 10 minute walk, not too long. Here's where I jump into the water and it was only about six feet and uh, I don't recommend doing that. Um, I, I knew I was gonna hit the bottom, but I didn't think I'd hit it that fast. <laughs> and then, uh, but here's me just strolling around, uh, just looking at the beautiful, um, I think it's Manglad, I'm not really sure. But just having fun with Eduardo there, just floating around. So many things to look at. Um, yeah, I highly recommend checking this place out. You'll uh, enjoy yourself. I meant to say that it was actually only about four feet, but it looked like six feet. So our next visit, we stopped here in Bacalar was the deck. Uh, and we got out to the lake from there. We just walked out there. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Uh, and here's where I got into the water. And you can just see the crystal clear water and then the beautiful skies with the clouds. And I love the sailboat. It just looks so beautiful walking by. And as you can see, there's lots of eco-biodiversity. So we found this restaurant across the street from the lake. There's the before picture. And here is the after picture. Everything was so good. Um, you know, we all really enjoyed ourselves and loved the food. And here's a picture of the outside. I forgot to get the name of it. But if you see this, go eat there. Now, uh, on our way to Mahawa, we actually stopped at Buena Vista. I guess I accidentally deleted the video, but there wasn't much to look at. The vista wasn't that buena. So just go ahead and skip it uh, yourself. Uh, but here we are uh, as we're driving into Mahawa. And here is the border and the... Uh, you know all the little cool things to look at tons of places to walk around there's lots of restaurants there's people selling food uh, but just very serene very beautiful uh, as you can see it's just this nice sleepy little small town i guess it gets pretty crazy when the um when cruise ships pull up but 
when we went uh, there wasn't any there so we just got to walk around and really enjoy ourselves it was a you know like a small town vibe so definitely check it out uh, if you're in the area so uh, here in this next part we are driving through the boardwalk there was a part that was paved and you could drive on wasn't that long but you know in case you wanted to see other parts of the city or the town whatever you want to call it you could drive around on but but yeah i definitely recommend checking this place out uh we did stop and eat at a couple places or we ate at a couple places and or ate at one place and drank at another uh good food really nice people overall so definitely add this to your list of things to do here in the it's one of the restaurants we eat at it was pretty early stuff that but yeah uh guys thank you so much for watching this video have any questions, let me know in the comments.